This is Fox in the Morning. Do people feel kind of naked around you? Yeah. <laughs> as long as they don't get naked around me, I'm fine. <laughs> Your handwriting can reveal the naked truth. I'm P. Fuentes. We'll explain next. Thank you, Garcia. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Handwriting. Most of us don't think twice when we put pen or pencil to paper, but for some companies, your handwriting could determine if you'll be their next hire. That would be a really scary I thing know. for doctors. Uh, Pete Fuentes <laughs> is here to tell us about a unique tool some companies across the country are using called Graphology. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Anita, John. Absolutely, doctors. Simple handwriting on a piece of paper. May, you may be able to reveal your... Yeah, the way you think, the way you act, and even reveal your emotions. This morning, we show you why this technology is considered by some to be an important tool in the workplace. We'll see who's using it and how it may impact your next job interview. Like a rite of spring, the mating season has begun. We do a background check. It's a courtship between job seeker and employer. They do have to take a sales quantitative test. What happens next can consummate a professional marriage or ice it. What methods do you employ to check up on people? We have a tool that we call it Gala. It has to do with previous predictions. We also the have a spearing on program. A Princeton University study says four out of five people are wrong for the job in which they're hired. It's no wonder employers are careful not only who they choose, but how they do it. More and more businesses are turning to a resource that's right at their fingertips. Graphology helps employers match the person who's right for the job. Hey, I got that handwriting. It just received it over the fax. Paula Sassy believes everyone's handwriting is as unique as their fingerprints. Written letters offer clues into people's personality their work habits, and integrity. We measure everything in the handwriting, whether it be the size, the slant, the spacing. There's thousands of things we look at and correlate. I think we've got the right person for the job. She kind of gives, gives us indications of any kind of red flags that we might not pick up in, in the interview process. No, I mean, that's a good fit on you. Alexis Murray is sales manager at Mary's Tack and Feed. That mm -hmm. looks like it would fit me better. Yeah. Like most bosses, Alexis is looking for a perfect fit new employees who are honest and can do the job. Sarah, customer assistance to Western Department, please. The estimated cost of replacing employees is $8,000 per hire. It cost to us to hire on an individual, get them trained, um, get them set up in paperwork and payroll, and to have them possibly not work out within two to three weeks, um, it definitely saves us some expense. Job seekers fill out a form like this. Once you agree to put your words down, your handwriting is considered public property and is fair game for analysis. An A&O that has like a figure eight in it, this is a person who will distort the truth. They are simple letters, yet Paula says we might as well be looking at x-rays that reveal the personality. I know that they're A that has a, um, a penetration in it. The deeper it goes, the more they're covering. Handwriting analysis can reveal our true conscious thoughts. I know that has a lid on it. It's a person that holds in their feelings. You find this in teenagers' handwriting sometimes. We are such a technical, scientific world, especially in the United States, as people will poo-poo handwriting, and really all the answers are right in front of them with the person's signature or with their handwriting sample. Mm -hmm. Paula has a collection of words drawn from famous letters, memos, and signatures starting with a letter from O.J. It was almost a confession in the very first line of that letter. Paula says Elvis's handwriting... He starts out very vital and full of energy. ...grew weaker through the years. And we can really see the drug and alcohol in the writing and the pastiness, the tremors, and the unevenness of the writing. This is Mother Teresa's handwriting. And even in the word love, this person has written, has drawn in like a heart. Contrasted with this. This person can be verbally aggressive with this point in the A. They can be um, fooling themselves, a lot of self-deception. And this handwriting is the handwriting of Charles Manson. It's just another tool. And nothing is foolproof, because when we're dealing with human personality, you always have that personality factor. Their life may change, something might happen to them. So it's not a total guarantee. Paula says if people try to fake it or cheat on their handwriting, it only comes off worse. One woman almost didn't get a job because her writing was textbook perfect, and that raises red flags for graphologists. So the word to the wise here uh, from the source, be yourself, messy penmanship and all. P. 
Pete Fuentes, Fox 6 News. Pete, did you have yours analyzed? I have not yet. Oh. Oh. I uh, kind of bowed out. I kind of chickened out. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pete. But Always. how about you? Uh, well, you it's your turn. Honestly, Pete, we are going to do that right now as dedicated public servants. Absolutely. We've decided to, you know, Open expose ourselves. ourselves. We're going to have our uh, handwriting analyzed, and of course, to do it, we went right to the source. And that's right. We both scribbled an example of our writing and sent it to our next guest, Paul Sassy from Handwriting Consultants International, <sighs> who you just saw in that piece. She joins us now to, to reveal all of our secrets. Thank you. Oh, Before I, this, this is fascinating. But I, I want to ask you some questions. I mean, this is amazing. I didn't know there was such a science to this. Mm. Is there a lot of research backing this up? I mean, have you been proven right time after time after time? Well, in my business, I have, yes. Yeah. I mean, my clients have been with me for 20 years. Wow. So, and I've been in business that long. And this science has been around for 2,000 years. So it's mm. not all that new. Interesting. Okay. I think people just like to keep it a little quiet. Gosh, All right. Well, I wanted to keep it quiet, and now you, you, we, what we did yesterday, and I guess this is the normal protocol. Handwriting samples were faxed to you, yes, and then you just looked at them. So, w w what did you find out? Well, I was impressed with both of you. We'll start with Thanks. that, John. Fantastic. Your writing shows uh, you, you have these very tall extensions in the upper part of your writing, so it shows your real idea, man. You've got a lot of thread in the writing, so you're good diplomacy, good talker. So you turned out to be enterprising, realistic. But you also said I'm a kleptomaniac. Well, <laughs> you had you, there. You have a lot of left hooks in your writing. What's that and mean? And this this means acquisitiveness. So you may like to collect things or never throw things away, but it is also a red flag of someone who may Steal. procure things. You know, I've been but, missing my coffee. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I knew oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, that it didn't just. But you get up had no other away. negative things in the writing, so we, we suspect this is just a uh, a security need. However, however, in that I mentioned that I was writing in a hurry. Yes. And I was not writing on lined paper. Does, Does that that, that, didn't that doesn't matter? That showed, and that was very good. You gave the perfect writing sample on unlined paper, and oh. but you wrote a little too fast but it also showed you it made your baseline arc and it showed they were just asking too much of you at the time okay you have too many irons in the fire. well i signed it love john Does, yeah, do i get any points for that yeah you great signature no, because you bragged on yourself he puts I'm that executive good... caution at the end <laughs> with a hook so he's very tenacious That's right i'm affectionate and, and not a bad well now dancer. anita on the other hand is a real little vixen what's <laughs> yeah. going on here yeah. well very interesting <laughs> i found out the secret but uh, overall her writing is very colorful and uh, very controlled and organized so she's an enterprising artistic so she's very good at leading and influencing people in a creative environment uh -huh. and the yeah. other thing I had seen in her <laughs> writing was that big G on handwriting and it comes around and it kind of covers itself and this sometimes indicates sexual secrets and oh. then I found out she is expecting oh, that's my so oh, yeah, that was that's <laughs> your sexual secret right there I was glad it was that <laughs> <laughs> How, so when you when you do this, the people that are having their uh, handwriting, you never see these people, right? You're just oh, yes. looking at the way it hits the paper. Is that what you're yes, doing? Yes, I, I never meet with the people. No, it's just one more ingredient. I mean, people shouldn't be afraid if their handwriting is going to be analyzed, because if they're right for the job, their personality is projected in their handwriting, and that's what it shows. And then my clients also use other tests. They use the interview process, and they don't. I just give them. A, um, an indication of what the strengths and weaknesses are. The final decision is theirs. Okay. But okay. when they go against me, they usually are very sorry. Sorry. <laughs> would you Would you hire us? I would. I was I was thrilled to see these writings. Oh, these are the kind of writings I like to see. Uh, John would be a good um, sales promotion type person, and you would be a very good manager type. Oh. Yeah. And with all those sexual secrets, you would <laughs> yeah. be needed. And it's fun too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> obviously, fascinating. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Interesting. Wow, I feel so validated. Yeah.